Hey everyone, there's a lot of gyan out there that you know you will find that one person is going to make you happy, somebody else is responsible for your happiness, somebody agitates you, somebody gets you cheesed off. But the truth is that nobody can affect you if you are at peace with yourself. Well, that's an easy thing to say peace with yourself. But how do you achieve peace with yourself? First of all, you have to introspect because each and every one of us has something that bothers us. Some triggers that, you know, take us to the sides that we don't want to go. There are certain kinds of energies that, you know, drag us down the pit. And there are certain kinds of energies that make us feel energized. We cannot be an energi- energy parasite, you know, looking for somebody who's going to energize us, latch on to that person, soak in all their energy, exhaust and tire them. We have to build our own energy. We have to balance our own karmas and our own chakras. So it's very important that we invest some time during the day with ourselves. Keep a journal, write the things that bother you, the triggers, the things that trigger you off, the things and people that they say about you that affect you. Because when we respond to people, we usually do it socially, like I'm pretty chilled, this doesn't bother me, I'm okay with myself. But when we are at home with our loved ones, when we are at home with ourselves, that's when we know that yes, it does bother us. There's no harm in accepting that some things bother us because there is something that bothers everybody. We are not uh, enlightened human beings yet. Some of us might be, but the rest of us are all work in progress and there's no harm in being work in progress. So keep a journal, write your points, be true to yourself. If something bothers you, walk away from it. You can always walk away from something. You always have the choice. If somebody or some incident is not adding value to your life, is not making you stronger, is not uh, motivating you, encouraging you, you can keep your distance from such people. You do not have to get into conflict. So the first thing to realize is finding our peace and then retaining our peace. Much love.